key server is a server application that runs on a server in student services building. It handles licensing for several different applications that we have in common around campus. We install a key client on faculty, staff, and lab machines and classroom machines. Could be Windows, could be Mac. Whenever that client launches an application that communicates with the key server using the key client installed on that computer, and it either allows you to launch the application or tells you that there are no licenses available. And the user, 99% of the time, will not even know key client's running. It runs in the background. It, it is preferred that for any department that would like to use key server key client to help manage licenses, also help contribute to the application pool that is available through uh, key server. KeyServer was purchased for campus so that applications can be shared with faculty in their offices, staff, and students in labs and classrooms. I use KeyClient in my office. It's me getting ready for class. I use those to prepare materials for teaching, but I also use those to edit the University Union's newsletter. I also do some of my own design and research work. If you have a, a class that will also be accessing a lab and you need access to a particular application and it's a key server controlled application, then the faculty member can call the help desk, 581-HELP, or myself, and we can reserve a set number of licenses particularly for that class. Key server requires every user to have a small client software installed on your local workstation. It's called the key client. Here's the installer file. Silent indicates that you wait for about 15 to 30 seconds and key client is installed. If it's an ATAC purchased machine at a computer lab or in a classroom, then the ATAC administrators will do those installs. You can always call the help desk and arrange it through a technician there, but the fastest, quickest route is going to be to work with your ISS. And they can install key client as well as the particular software that you need installed on that computer. I was able to get the entire um, Adobe CS3, so I use Dreamweaver, I use InDesign, and I use Photoshop. Office 2007, and I use Adobe to convert to PDF files. I use um, SPSS statistical software, um, I use Camtasia, and then I also use the Snagit program. Key client can only be installed on Eastern purchased equipment, um, office computers and laptops. They cannot be installed on your personal computer. Key server cannot be accessed directly from off campus because it's behind a firewall and unless you use VPN to establish a secure connection to the campus network, you won't be connecting to key server directly. I can access the key server applications from anywhere I have my laptop, so in my office, at home, anywhere I take my laptop, the, the applications work. I probably use a thousand dollars worth of programs over the course of a year that I wouldn't be able to justify purchasing for myself. It's allowed us to have access to software that, again, us as an individual department wouldn't normally be able to afford. It helps users uh, share um, the applications across campus so that we can maximize usage without having to purchase bigger quantity of licenses for those applications and help save the university a significant amount of money. If I had a question about how to use KeyServer, again the college technology support person um, would be probably the first call I'd make and then also to CATS, the Center for Academic Technology Support. You can check the CATS website for more information about KeyServer. You can contact Don Braswell at 581-7633 or myself at 581-7632.